So, if we want a happy life, if we have anything that's bothering us and we don't like it, all we need to do is to let go of the thoughts of that thing and it is gone. This goes to the extreme of the body. It's impossible to have a sick body without unconsciously holding the thought of sickness. The way to correct a sick body is not to think on the sickness, but to hold only the thought of health. And the moment we do that, the moment we have only a thought of health, there is no more sickness. It will drop away instantly. So the key is to think only what you want. And you'll change your life in that direction that you are thinking. I guess I ought to add, we shouldn't qualify it. We should not limit what we want. We should never say, through whom, by what means, through what method, we would like to get that which we want. Once we do that, we are interjecting the ego. We are, t we are trying to direct the way this thing that we want is to come to us. We should let go and let God, let go, let the infinite find the way of getting to us that which we want. We should think only what we want, not through whom or by what means. And also, we must think in present time. Anytime we expect to get something in the future, we are creating it in the future, and that's where it remains, in the future. We cannot get things that we expect to get in the future, because the mind being creative will create it in the future, and the future is always ahead of us. It's never here. So that when we want to create something, we must accept it as having been already received. As the Bible says, before ye ask, believe that ye have already received it. Anything we want, we must get the feeling that it is ours now, not tomorrow, not in the future. It is ours now, and then we just let go, and we expect to pick it up. Any demonstrating done with concept of the future in it will always keep it in the future. To be more specific, if, if it is a thing, we should visualize it, see it, feel it, taste it, smell it, as though it is, and is ours now, period, finished, drop. Many schools suggest that you repeat again and again and again. Well, repetition is necessary if you don't accept it the first time. But the very best way to demonstrate is to know that it is here and now and let go. Then it comes very quickly. But we must have the concept of the present. It is ours now. So we should always think only what we want. 
never think that which we do not want. This is so simple. If you will do this, your life will be exactly the way you said it. Think what you want. Use that as a slogan, as a way in life, and you will become master over your life. You will have exactly what you are thinking. A master sees only perfection. Hear no evil, see no evil, think no evil, and there will be no evil. <coughs> Now walk that. Let go of trying to be otherwise. You can take credit for all the negativity you're creating, and that's very helpful too. When we create something that's negative in our life, we don't like it. We should look at it. Look for the thoughts in our mind that cause this thing to happen. And then, you, if you develop this as a way, as a habit, it'll come very quickly. You'll say, now what did I do to cause this? And immediately the thought will come up and you'll say, oh, you'll smile and you'll let go of it. But that too is teaching one that we are nothing but creators. And when you discover that you're able to create sickness, accidents, poverty, it'll give you confidence that you can create. <laughs> if we're having difficulties in life, we can use those difficulties just this way, by discovering that the source of everything is a thought or thoughts in our mind at some at some time previous. And when we see that, we know that we have created this negative thing, and then it will occur to us, well, well, if I can create something negative, all I have to do is reverse it, and I can create something positive. But everyone is creating every moment of his life because he's thinking all the time. If things do not occur, it's because one time we can think yes and the next time no and balance it out. But if the yeses are stronger than the noes, it'll come into being. Everyone is creating every moment that he's thinking. cannot help but be a, a creator. So long as one thinks, he creates. Unfortunately, we are convinced that we can only create very slowly. If we were convinced that we could create instantly, things would happen immediately. But take credit for all the negativity that we create. It shows us that we are the creator. Then we can consciously make a decision to stop create, creating that which we do not want and to start creating that which we do want. This will conflict with the concept that God is a creator. 
In the ultimate truth, God is not a creator, only man is. In an absolute perfection, there is nothing to be created, nothing to be destroyed. Everything is absolutely perfect. So in the ultimate, there is no creation. Where the top God is, there can be no creation and no dissolution. The only creator is man. when he doesn't know that he is God.